Morning. It's just starting to become light. It's seven o'clock in the morning. I am dressed. I am ready to go. The kids are still asleep. Let's do this. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am tired. Yesterday was exhausting. I was to Wendy last night. It was his birthday yesterday. So happy birthday, my lovely husband, for yesterday. Celebrated with his friends in the curry. Back in the UK. So when he comes back, we'll, uh, we'll do something here for him. <laughs> Bug on me. Oh. I've decided I need one of those coffee machines that has the timer. You know, one of the old-fashioned cafeteria ones. You set it for six, you wake up, and you can just smell the coffee, and ping, you're awake. At least what, that's what I thought it used to do, do to you. You know, waking up when I was younger, and the automatic coffee smell. My dad's sitting there. <sighs> awake. It's amazing what you imagine as kids, and then what the reality is when you're uh, an adult. So here we are, back at the homestead. Milk and pot in hand. To begin with, so we're uh, doing something right this morning. Let's just hope uh, Ivy stays in her pen and I can get some milk out of Polly, which I did yesterday. Milking went okay yesterday. The problem that I had was obviously that you saw I spilt it everywhere because I am clumsy. But I suppose that that's what makes this week more comical. I did say ups and downs, so let's do this. Polly was so good. Morning! Because Polly was so good this morning, we're going to treat her. Have a good old munch on the weeds. Look who's come to join us. Good morning. What time do you call this? I've already milked the goat. <laughs> Did you sleep okay? Yeah. Yeah? Your brother's still asleep? Yeah. Good. Right. What do you, do you want to go... Get some chicken food. Can I hold her? Just in case she goes, I don't mm. want she. She's quite strong, Boo. Last time I hold her, I fall. You did. <laughs> right. Why don't you prepare some chicken and duck food for me? Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. Thank you. So while she does that, we're gonna put Polly back into the pen with Buck and Ivy. Yeah. Very strong. I just need to get this one. Yeah. Oh, one egg. Any duck eggs today? No, no duck eggs. No. no There's two duck eggs under the mummy duck. I know. Oh. They're babies. No, no, no. Well, they might be. We don't know. Put that on. Right, put that in the silver tray down there. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like gunfire. It's not gunfire. It's like fireworks. Yeah, something like that. Like a cannon type noise in the background. Sunday morning, church, obviously in Spain, quite a Catholic Catholic thing. <laughs> They're waiting for you. Put it towards you. Alright, don't move. They want their food more than anything else. Let me just put it on the floor. No, don't move. Pop up. Use your foot. Let me make it out of the way. Pick them up. Pick them down. I want to get a little bit more of the foot on the floor so she can do some scratching and pecking. Yeah? Right, should we go check on yeah. Duckman? Come on. Hey, go see the Duckman. I have to be very quiet. He doesn't want to let them out yet. Oh. <laughs> 
Look, I don't know if you can see. Wow, there's a broken egg over there. So I'm assuming we have a baby chick under, under black. Do you wanna go grab some food for them and I'll investigate? I know, how big has he got? He or she, we don't know yet. We all look though, but look, I don't know. Right there is a broken egg shell. Hiya girl. Hiya. Are you gonna show us your chick? We have a new addition. Come black. Just spread your wing up for me. There we go. There we go. Oh, all right, so it's a good girl, Black. Well done. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, what I'm going to do, because obviously the way Black is with her over eggs, she'll be perched and she won't want to move off them. So, Lexi's going to go and find me a little cup or a small little thing so we can just get some chick feed and some water and just put it next to Black. So then the little chick doesn't have to try and jump down and then we'll sort some out this afternoon a little bit more permanent for her. Yeah? Do you want to go yeah. find that for me? Yeah. Go on then. So as you can see in the background, the goats are very lively and playing. Milking's done. You fed the chickens. We've done water for the goats. I can't see you. There you are. Yeah. Done water for the goats and chickens. Everything's all fine and dandy and we even have a brand new baby chick this morning. Well... I can't say we've done better we, ourselves. Yeah, we haven't seen it. Um, well, it wasn't there last night. No, and it did it all by itself. It did, right. High five. Just like the baby duck, it needed a little bit of help because it's a little bit more bigger. Right, should we go get breakfast? Yeah, right. like bacon and sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Afternoon. Um, oh, It's been 42 degrees today. Um... So it's been really too hot to do anything, but this is normally the last week of the heat and it's the temperatures start dying down, which I'm very much looking forward to. It's always a kind of last week in July, first couple of weeks in August. Now, I think Andy mentioned it, one of the other vlogs that we did, we, um, we had a, we've had quite some trouble with wasps this year. So he took all the solar panels down that were on the house they've come down sprayed all the wasp nests that were there <laughs> just done so I've just finished doing the dogs so they're all clean tidy fed went to go uh sit down and have a drink near the speaker underneath the toilet <laughs> and there's a massive wasp nest underneath there so we're gonna have to get some more spray normally Andy sprays and runs but it looks like I'm gonna have to do it so that would be a tomorrow, grab the spray and then either really early in the morning or really, like, really late when it's dark, spray it because that's when the wasps are the most docile. So you can see that that hasn't been done yet, but it will be tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. Although Sebastian's been really cranky today as well. Not because of the heat, well probably the heat hasn't helped. But another tooth have just decided to come through. So, so he's definitely picked the right week to do it, hasn't he? Wasp nest animals. I bet all of you lot think I just complain for the hell of it. Don't. <laughs> but it's nice and cool now. Hey guys. Oh, another bit of exciting news for you as well. Is this afternoon I'll come and check on the little chick because after speaking to Andy, decided that the ramp wasn't quite safe enough, just in case the mother duck decides to get a bit territorial. So we've just blocked it off and given them some food and water. Well, went in there to do it. There was a second chick. So that was a bit of a surprise. So let's go there first and see if we can find any more. So as you can see, 
There's one sitting in the feed. And the other one's just down there. She's still sitting on some eggs, still finding her tail out. There's food in there, which is good. So, I just have to give them a bit more water and try and coax that water thing out there. But as you can see, there's still quite, there's a lot more eggs. I don't know whether they're gonna be fertile, whether they're gonna hatch, but we'll see. She's very, very protective at the moment. And here's Big Duckling. It's going to be released soon into the little pen we've got. So yeah, let's get this sorted for them. Day two done, completed. Five more days to go until the main man is back. So uh, I'll uh, tend to these dogs and see what they're barking at. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Enjoy. Thank you.